came to the school and did a demonstration because it was an all boys school. But all these buddy teachers and all the local areas came and they did this uh, pas de deux. And he said, do you think any of you boys would like to have a go at this? So I thought, well, I've got nothing to lose, I'll have a go. So I got up there and tried to copy what they were doing. And this dancing teacher, Heather Gidden, and she said to me afterwards, would you like to be a dancer? I said, why not? Yeah, why not? It's bad, because when I left school, he said, you'd be lucky if you get a job as a road sweeper. That decision that day was what really turned me into a photographer and a ballet dancer. When I went into the company, they were so short of boys that I reckon they would have taken you in if you only had one leg. I was pretty unmusical and I had to have somebody in the wings to tell me when to go on. And I can remember the ballet master coming around Henry Ledgerton saying, that's the worst performance I've ever seen. I said, thanks. <laughs> well, I was on stage with uh, Fontaine and Nureyev, but I knew them, we knew them all. Alabama, the race riots of 1963. I got to this motel and uh, I was pretty knackered, so I thought I'd just have a shower and go to bed. And by the bed was this machine, and it says uh, you had to put a dime or so many dimes in this machine, so, and it would slowly rock you to sleep. And I couldn't stop it. Uh, I thought it would run out, but it went out and slept in the chair, and the bed was still going, rocking away. I think it was still going when I woke up. And then straight off into the town with my gear. If the weather's good and it's not raining, then there's a fair chance you're gonna get a riot. <laughs> so when I got there, there were thousands of police. There was a cafe, which I went into, and it had, you know, on the sign up, uh, I think it was blacks are not welcome. And then I went out and he, the police said uh, I was going to cross the road to the black side. He said, if you go across there, you join them, I take it that you'll be one of them. And, uh, you know, you're likely to get shot. I said, thanks very much. And that was Bull Connor. And that was out of his car and he was sitting there with a double barreled shotgun. And around his feet, I remember, there were hundreds of cartridge cases. So did you cross the line? Yes, I did. Uh, I didn't get shot. But they weren't very, you know, when I went back, the police weren't very happy. 